Good morning. So how to think differently and stop letting limiting beliefs holding you back because you have good intentions, you know what to do already, but you just don't do it. So you might have seen in the media yesterday, they talked about two minutes, plank, two minutes, ski sit, holding a squat, has benefits on blood pressure, and there's a few other articles and discussion about discussing you know, whether we should just recommend steps or it should be recommended more widely about the power of small little chunks of exercise, something that we've actually talked a lot about this week. But I wanted to jump on today and talk about these limiting beliefs because I've looked at this wind and now I've got my way in the same but it's also windy on the floor. Anyway, so first off on this, if we think of some of the things that hold us back, that we need to actually start, not food. We need to starve off. If you think about the things such as, unless I do an hour, then it's pointless. Unless I do an hour's exercise, it's pointless. Uh, today's plan's gone out of the window. Ever said that one before? Today's plan's gone out of the window. And then you check the time. It's like two o'clock. There's still another 10 hours or so to put it right and actually do our best. And not even put it right, just do our best. Can I try my best for the rest of the day? What, what difference would that have? Morning, Louise. What difference would that have today if at two o'clock your plan had gone out of the window, yet instead of just jumping out the window with the plan, you just decide to do your best? What would be different then? What would be different if instead of saying, oh, I don't know if I'll be fit enough, I don't know if I'll be able to keep it going, I don't know if I'm, the habits will, will, be, will be working enough, we just say, wouldn't it be fun to find out? change our response to that and it's such a small thing but the problem is the more we focus on something the more we worry about something the more we google something the more we realize the more, the more anxious we get like have you ever googled something searched something and then left feeling more anxious probably like why can i not stick to something then it's like wow why am i nervous about something why am i this why why is this and actually wouldn't it be fun to find out if doing two minutes today made a difference to my energy? If doing two minutes a day for a month made a difference at all? Did it mean I ate better? Did it mean I felt better? Did it mean I slept better? Was it easier to then go from two minutes to five minutes when life calmed down? So this is just one way of thinking differently and trying to overcome those limiting beliefs, which love absolutely love attention the more attention you give them that's where your energy will go energy flows where your attention goes where you put it that's where your energy is going to go so i hope that helps round this video somewhere um or just comment let me know if you want it there should be a link to a free seminar called how to overcome self-sabotage and that monkey on your shoulder that keeps those limiting beliefs if you click that or comment below or send me a message with sabotage self-sabotage i will send that over to you. Have an awesome day and I'll see you soon.